Hi everybody, Mitch again. I don't want to make a nuisance of myself, but we do want all our uh, members of the Purdue community to feel well informed as we move through this difficult situation. And uh, based on some feedback, we understand that occasional videos of this kind will be a useful part of our communications program. So let me just touch on two or three things that have happened since the previous message. One is the governor of Indiana has issued a stay-at-home order. We thought at first this might cause further disruption in our activities, but on reading it, we uh, learned that it will not. It has an ample exception for higher ed and for critical research, and we believe that the current restrictions that we have in place more than comply with this order. It may affect a, a few of our research projects, but we hope very, very few. Uh, secondly, we're in the second day of remote instruction. Too soon to tell how it's going. There clearly will be some issues, and we're inviting comments from student participants and others uh, in how we can uh, do this as well as anybody in the country. But 5,000 courses have been successfully transitioned to the remote model. It's quite an achievement on the part of our faculty. We're down to uh, about 10% of the occupants of our resident hall still here. Thanks to the 90% who were able to move, that's the right thing from a public health standpoint. And we'll be taking all sorts of measures to make sure that those who remain are practicing effective uh, preventive health measures. And then finally, uh, a word to our coworkers here. Uh, we have uh, every hope, everyone does, that we might be able to resume something like normal operations, not normal instruction, but normal business operations um, over the next few weeks sometime. But since we don't know that, I want to assure uh, each of our coworkers that if the current uh, uh, situation does continue on, uh, you'll be paid through the end of our fiscal year on June 30th uh, at a minimum. And so uh, there'll be a bulletin in the next few hours going through the details of that, but that's the simple message that um, uh, if, if we're not able to come back to work, as we all hope we, we can, uh, you'll continue to be uh, uh, paid uh, through uh, June 30th or in, if you're operating under a contract through the end of the academic year. Thank you very much for all you're doing to help Purdue move through this. We are uh, deeply grateful to you. We'll do all we can to keep you uh, well informed. Hail Purdue.